Bobo by Olamide Besere by Lil Ketch, Fans Me by David Doe are among the most recent songs banned by the National Broadcasting Commission. Also featuring on the NBC's list of not to be broadcast songs are Whiskey's In My Bed, Fino's Yayo, Reminisces to Sajue, Maidis Ibadi, Dr. Seed's Oyari, Nyanyan's Gift, and Olamide's Indomie. The ban implies that the songs will not be played either on the radio or television. Well, foreign music videos are not exempted either, and on the foreign categories are Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, Omaro's Post to Be, and Ace Who's Bugatti. According to NBC, the video of fans may promote ostentatious lifestyle, violence, drug trafficking, and indecent exposure. Yayo's video was deemed obscene, while T. Sajue was assessed to have vulgar lyrics. Oprah Winfrey is heading back to daytime TV. The TV mogul is seriously considering re-upping her hit talk show and is accepting the $500 million paycheck that could come with it. She could make half a billion bucks just by turning on. ABC want her, but only if they can buy out her own network. Asos said Oprah misses being the queen of daytime talk show that if she were back on air, fans would make her number one in a heartbeat. However, the new deal could be announced in January 2016. Still ahead, Johnny's Box South African convicted killer Oscar Pistorius spent 10 months in one of the world's most notorious living in virtual isolation and benefiting from special treatment. The double amputee Olympic athlete is expected to be released Friday to spend the remainder of his five-year sentence under house arrest. Nicknamed the Blade Runner, Pistorius was reportedly so worried he would be poisoned while in prison that he lived on canned sardines and baked beans. A fellow inmate disclosed Pistorius was a VIP prisoner. Finally, the granddaughter of acclaimed actor Morgan Freeman was stabbed to death on a Manhattan sidewalk early Sunday during what a law enforcement sources and witnesses described as an exorcism at the hands of her ranty boyfriend. The killer yelled as he plunged a hurting knife into the 33-year-old Edna Hines' chest, according to witness. The actress was stabbed 16 times. Hence, whose grandmother, Jensetta Brasher, was Freeman's first wife, was attacked on West 162nd Street near Nicholas Avenue, a few buildings from where she lived, Cobbs and sources said. Freeman, 78, issued a statement soon after the attack. Lamar Devonport was arrested on Monday and charged with second-degree murder in her death. And that's it on Quick News. You can click to watch subsequent videos, like and share. Don't also forget you can subscribe for free on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.